he was um he was gonna be over here this afternoon. I called when I got off work and he didn't answer the phone again. And this is two days that he hasn't answered the phone when he always has. So I left a message and I said, um, I just wanted to find out exactly what time you were going to be over because I need to go by um, the pharmacy. Um, there was some prescriptions that I needed to get filled yesterday from when I went to the doctor and I did not get to get them filled. And I don't want you sitting there waiting for me and I don't want to be sitting waiting for you and not be able to get the prescriptions filled or have to have, you know, end up having to go later. So if you could please give me a call back and let me know. So um, he didn't call back. So I went and got my prescriptions filled. It took about an hour and while I was in there um, I started getting really dizzy and um, having one of my episodes and I had to sit down for a while got back here he's not across the street uh, haven't heard from him you know I'm a customer and I don't think that I should have to sit around and wait for someone to um, decide when they're gonna come over and fix something. I think there should be a committed time and you shouldn't just show up at someone's door. Um, I've had too many bad, bad, bad incidences where um, they were referrals from friends and um, I had this one referral from a guy and um, he seemed okay um, eager this was right after the nor'easter it had also damaged my fence completely my roof my fence um, I had to get both of those replaced completely. My front door, my storm door, um, my back sliding glass door ended up having to be replaced. Um, and that's just externally. And I haven't finished. My storage shed has to have a lot of work done and that's part of the mold remediation repair work that's going to be done. Um, but anyway, um, he, I was going to get him to do the fence. He had um, already put outside a, uh, a new light for me, light fixture, that would come on um, a new front porch light. So he kept calling wanting to know when he could start and it had been raining and he was talking about um, putting in new posts and I found out later I didn't need new posts but I told him with the rain you you can't you're not gonna be able to put in the posts and he kept getting more aggressive with wanting to start being very um, trying to tell me that he could do it and it wouldn't be a problem and that the concrete would set and that you know he needed the money and at one point this was the last time I saw him because after that um, he got a Michelle reality call face-to-face uh, -face via his mom and this was a man who's older than me um, he showed up at my door at six o'clock in the morning ring the doorbell would not go away I had just gotten out of the shower so I got dressed really quick answered the door um, would not 
undo the storm door and I asked him what he wanted and he said that he was you know really hurting for money and he wanted to know um, if there was anything I needed him to you know to do and I told him no I told you I would call you you know if and when I needed anything done and you you know it's I'm sorry it's been raining every day you can't there's nothing for you to do he wouldn't go away so I finally just told him you know I'm shutting the door I don't want to hear from you anymore if you contact me anymore I'm going to be putting out a restraining order well when he installed the front porch light he for whatever reason I think it was to keep a tie to me he didn't have me pay him and he um, it was forty dollars so um, I think I don't remember how I knew where his mom lived but um, maybe I had taken him home when he had fixed the light that time or something but after I got off work I went and got 40 bucks out of the ATM machine and <laughs> and if he's watching this he already knows what happened um, I went by and I knocked on his mom's door and I gave her the money and I said I want you to give Mura a message here's his money um, this is all he's going to get out of me I have no more work for him to do I do not want to see him or hear from him again um, he is not to show up on my property at 6 o'clock in the morning anymore I am not um, his source of income and if he thought I was then he's sadly mistaken and I had already told him that face to face that if he was looking at me to be his source of income he was looking in the wrong direction because I'm broke so he tried to call me after that probably I think he even left a message like, what did I do so, you know, to upset you so bad, blah, blah, blah. But that was the end of it. So it's those kinds of things that, you know, and there was another incident with the HVAC guy back in 2012 where he tried to rip me off with one of those stupid rainbow vacuum cleaner machines. Um, but anyway, um... I kind of got sidetracked there that this is why um, this is why I'm so leery about people um, coming in and um, doing rush jobs on my property because I have to have the work done and then redone and it's affected my health you know this whole situation with the ceiling caving in and the guy not cleaning my HVAC system when he should have um, I truly believe that the mold exposure um, the mold was probably growing in there before that and that's what caused me to get sick um, and that's why that one test result has come back triple the normal results. Um, the symptoms of, of toxic mold exposure are just mold exposure. For some people who have autoimmune diseases um, are pretty bad and it's neurological and um, physical. So, um, I don't know what I'll talk about next. Um, this pretty much wore me out. So, um, I'm going to call it a day. See you till next time. Or, actually, I'll see you next time. Bye.